My name is Irene Stracuzzi. I'm a graphic designer and researcher. My name is Alice Wong. I'm a story designer based in Eindhoven. I like to deal with themes such as science and climate change in my projects. Um, I translate complex information findings into uh, multi-perspective stories. I aim to increase the awareness of truths and all the research and the projects that I'm doing actually is fundamentally rooted in understanding how reality is constructed. For this uh, edition of the Fibre Festival, I was invited together with Alice Wong to present a new project. Our project is called A Model of a Volcano, uh, and it starts from the metaphor of a volcano to uh, try to give different perspectives uh, on the geological changes that are happening on our planet. Um, but we try to focus on different scales, so different um, geographical scales, different time scales, to kind of uh, situate climate change in a bigger perspective in the history of our planet. The non-human center way to look at um, the ecological change in different scales um, with the audio and visual experience and then we will construct like abstract volcanoes in the space itself so the audience can come over and lean against it and listen to the audio track. I think the information age allows designers to work with uh, huge quantities of data which were not previously available. Uh, so that makes it interesting to try to work with this information that we have to uh, put together stories and narratives that can um, convey things more easily uh, to an audience. So we, when we perceive something, we take on a specific role from a different point of view to look at a certain subject. And then I'm very much aware there's not really a truth. Of course, in the scientific world, there's like an ultimate truth, but then in, a, in between art, creative design scene, there's not really like absolute answer for things. So my, my take on all the data and informations and how I process them is like, instead of giving an answer, I give them an opportunity, a short period of time to comprehend complexity, and then they can enable them to come up with their own idea to question. So it's like to enable them to question more and to be critical. I'm very fascinated by cartography, so I always try to uh, create stories using maps and geographical data because I think they can tell a lot about the world uh, around us. Uh, and especially I like to challenge the reading of maps. For example, as Europeans, we're used to looking at the, at the global map in a certain way. Uh, but for example, by using different cartographic projections, you can challenge this reading. So maybe you can place other places at the center of the map, or you can look at the ocean instead of looking at the land as we're used to. Uh, so by, by making small graphical changes, you can actually say many different things. Uh, and you can challenge different readings of different locations. We want people to uh, be curious about what they hear and to go and we want to encourage them to look for more information and not take for granted the first thing they hear. Mm -hmm.